Hello, hello my friends and welcome to another episode of Inside Out Electronic and today we have this cool portable anti-static mod from iFixit. Honestly, this is my first anti-static mod in my lab because this scrub that I have here is just, just, just some generic shit from dollar store and doesn't obviously meet any ESD safe safety standards. It just, I don't even know what the heck is that, some kind of foamy foamy thing anyways this is what i'm using but today in order to make sure i don't go fry my electronics i decided to splurge and get this i fix it anti-static mod the reason i purchased this particular one because it's portable it's i can actually move it from one bench to another i know i know i don't really have actually good setup in one place so i do have to move it from one bench to another plus also i can do some repairs somewhere else like upstairs or maybe i can do some repairs on the go so it is 60 by 60 centimeters which is pretty decent size surface resistivity a many ohms <laughs> so 10 point in 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 a, in a factor of 7 and 10 factor of 9 uh, ohms that's a lot 10 millimeter grounding snap 50 ohm wrist strap adjustable to some specific size and uh, how many of these mega ohms uh, one mega ohm grounding cord I mean, i'm just wondering why they put this 10 in the power of 5 she's like just put one mega ohm <laughs> Anyways, this is like 10 me uh, 100 mega ohms to like giga ohms. Nice. Okay, so that's pretty much it. It's made in Taiwan and blah blah blah. That's pretty simple. As you see over here, it there is a mat and straps and uh, some other straps. You have to take a look at those. So, well, let's just open it up and see what it is and how it looks what's the quality of manufacturing i don't gonna I i'm not sure if i would be able to measure resistivity within the range of like 10 mega ohms to like 10 giga ohms or one giga ohm yeah something to this extent 10 giga ohm actually Alrighty, so here is the mat itself. It's pretty big. I like it. And I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, actually, this is the good side. That was back side. This is the good side. Actually, no, I was wrong. So this more matte side is the good side. This more shiny side is the back side. Okay looking good already smells plasticky the only downside obviously that it's all crinkled but whatever so now let's take a look at those uh, wires so what we got here so it looks like we have two one of the wrist strap another is grounding wire or something to this oh my god what's going on here oh. go away okay so this is clearly to connect to this to over here you know like this or to over here there is, there is a two in, two in two different corners you have to really think what which one you prefer for example let's say no probably this one is better okay let's connect over here i connected it right here it's really really like it's, it spins freely but it's very hard to disconnect because i'm afraid if i try to disconnect i'm going to just rip this little uh, stud off interesting uh, hey i have to use something like this just to hook up into this little hole and just pull it otherwise you're going to rip this off okay well now i know how to Pull it back out so it's good so this can be um, should be connected to somewhere which is grounded so i don't really have a nice place to connect it except i have here my kilowatt does it go you know ah, it's kind of loosely let me pull it out so i have this kilowatt thing is sitting here and technically it just sort of can't go here but it's into this 
ground it's pretty loose but yeah one of the options if your equ uh, equipment has a ground pin like for example a power supply or I don't know, oscilloscope has a ground pin for example I have this Tektronik uh, 22 if, uh, 2252 and it has a ground pin here which is connected to the ground of uh, the your uh, outlet okay so we are discussed how to uh, connect this one so let's let's take a look at this uh, wrist strap so um, how do you uh -huh. I guess you adjust it to your dimensions like this I guess uh -huh. Well, it's kind of weird because I guess you have to first adjust it and then like lock it because I don't think you would be able to do it. Yeah. So it is connected and now you can connect it right here. Cool. So let's take a look at something else which is quite important. Over here it says one mega ohm. I'm curious if there is a one mega ohm resistor in here as well because it's quite important to have mega ohm resistor because if something got short gets shorted to the live or neutral under load uh, it may be very hazardous imagine you have this attached to your strap and all this gets where it's not supposed to get so you need one mega ohm resistor to protect yourself from being shocked so let me take a multimeter and double check if there is a one mega ohm resistor in this between uh, this contact in here and obviously double check if there is one mega ohm resistor between these guys too so here's our multimeter and let's switch it to the ohms range ohms mode i mean and let's take a look what do we gonna get and we have one mega ohm resistance so yes this thing has uh, one mega ohm resistor. So let's take a look what we have here. And we have and we have uh, yeah, almost one mega ohm resi resistance. All right, that's good. That's for uh, sake of safety. Uh, so okay, this thing collect garbage <laughs> okay um, that's cool so now I, I would be safely connecting this here and then taking this over here and oops touching my camera of course and I when I connect this to something like for example to this pin over here I am grounded so now I can work on some electronic equipment safely all right, the only thing is this thing still has to kind of straighten up. Uh, another very interesting thing I would like to do is to actually check, is to check what is the resistance of this thing. On the box, they claim uh, tens of mega ohms to giga ohms. So uh, there is a whole way of actually checking res such a, a resistance of this uh, double checking verifying I mean the resistance of uh, those sort of mods. There's a whole process you have to have dedicated uh, special electrodes put it on a specific distance put the, the electrodes has to have specific weight and uh, because it's all quite important the electron electric contact so yeah I won't be able to replicate it instead I have those two things uh, why do you need all that I'll show you why because doing this let me put the multimeter here doing this that's pretty much nothing maybe if you have it like super close does nothing you see that okay so you need some electrodes like that okay and uh, if you do this they're gonna go back but uh, even more you have to have some sort of have them relatively clean right because you have your fingerprints all over the place the um, and even clean this I guess if you want to have actually good experiment all right so let's give it a shot let's do uh, roughly one inch 
Okay, so we have our um, Megom range here. Well, it's actually auto ranging right now, but let's see what's going to happen. Oops. Well, it's not too bad. You see the difference? 8 Megom. Wow. Okay, let's just move it somewhere else. Okay, let's, let's t take him more apart. 9 Megom. Clearly, it's working. Let's take him even more apart. Still 10 Megom. It's amazing. So essentially, it doesn't really matter how far apart they are. It's all uh, important where they are. So if there is going to be a bunch of finger, fingerprints over here, like, you know, oil, it's the resistance, the insulation going to be much greater in this area. So probably it's quite important to keep your a, um, a ASD mat clean because if it's all soiled with gunk and dirt and oil and shit like that or with flux or whatever, if you have like thermal, thermal, thermal resistive one, it's not going to be doing a good job. So, uh, another experiment I would like to do, I'd like to take this one, connect one over here and do this. Oh, this is interesting. I have nothing. Okay. Uh, let me... Again, I'm just doing this out of experiments. Let me put it very close to this guy. I'm not sure if it's going to change anything, but let me do... Okay, still keeping it here. I even do better. I have this guy. Just like this. Oops. Alright. I'm really pressing on it. Wow, does nothing. I just increased the, the surface of the electrode. It's cool. Wow, I don't. I, I honestly don't like this. I'm not sure if it's good or bad. I didn't do much of research on the subject, but I don't like the fact that I don't have any anything. You see, if I do this, I have something. But if I do this, I have nothing. I'm really pressing on it, and it's really close. I don't know if it matters for that. Wow. Uh, huh. Well, I guess at least, at least, it's gonna. It's gonna um, dissipate the charge right in this surface, but clearly it's not gonna do the good job uh, dissipating. If, for example, if you have connected this to the ground, it seems like either resistance is super high and the fluke just can't can handle it. You know, this um, 87 uh, multimeter just can't handle it because it's too high. That's probably I don't know. 300 mega ohms or something like that, but yeah, I'm surprised. No, nothing. Oh, actually, no, nope. nothing. I'm surprised, really. Okay, let me do another test. Okay, have electrode here. No. Okay, finally, when I really, really, really hard pressing on this electrode, I get in some readings. Okay, so Clearly, the, the surface, contact surface of this pretty big electrode is much greater than the surface of this little thingy. Another interesting thing, I don't know, and actually I'm curious if this thing is double-sided. So let's just measure something, like if there's any indication on this side. Oh wow, oh. It's even better resistance <laughs> on this side. Sorry, lower I meant to say. 
That's cool. Okay, let me do the following. Yes. No, 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 there is something. There is something. Okay. So, right. Uh, sorry, guys. This is like poking around here. Um, I'm not really... Uh, familiar with all these uh, anti-static masks. This is my uh, ASD uh, safe and anti-static mask. This is my first one. I just, you know, not uh, learning a lot of on the subject. I'm not gonna claim I'm a specialist, except I read up how to measure, properly measure um, surface resistance of these kind of things, of these mats, uh, using the special electrodes, and hence I try to kind of replicate it myself. But so far, so good. So this is not bogus, some sort of um, ASD mat. Clearly, it has, it can dissipate ASD signals again. I cannot check that because I don't have proper equipment for example which would generate some kind of electrostatic charge and then and then try to measure the dissipation and how much charge has actually disappeared when it was uh, I guess I'm just theorizing here disappeared uh, or got uh, drained in in this mod so this is something probably which requires special equipment but you know, so far so good. This iFixit mod clearly does the job. It can dissipate the uh, charge, so I would be feeling much, much safe doing a my um, sensitive working on sensitive electronic uh, on this mod rather than on this mod. So right, this is some kind of stuff from dollar store, which is I'm not even uh, done made from. I think it's like some kind of foamy kind of not even rubber. It's like a foam of some sort but this one is proper static mat and like it, clearly it has some sort of uh, it, it has high resistance but not infinitely high for example if you to take let's just move this thing to the side take those same electrode put some megom put our multimeter into home and just measure resistance I would pressing really hard here to see anything going on obviously uh, oh, this light is kind of interfering. Sorry. I just touched it. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, it's it's just impossible. It's clearly, it's completely dielectric. So, and it, not just dielectric, it's fine. Maybe this thing, even if you just rub it like this, oops, you know what I mean? It can actually create electrostatic uh, discharge because it's gonna uh, generate electrostatic charge on this surface. So with this mod, that's definitely not going to happen. So um, clearly I'm gonna be trusting this mod. I'll be doing all my works on the mod and I already done something. Uh, well, I was kind of poking around with mud in, in between shooting video, and I think this is really good one. The only thing I have to figure out how to actually straighten it up, uh, because as you see, as you see, it's, it's quite crinkled, so I, I'll be rolling it, I think, something like that. Uh, probably I will disconnect this thingy. Like, I'll disconnect all that, move it to the side and roll the mat like this just in opposite direction of those uh, cre cre creasing crease lines just to make sure like just to you know just to straighten it up because it's first of all it's not look nice on camera second it just i don't know it, not aesthetically pleasing so yeah i'm gonna keep this thing like this hoping it's gonna straight up and then maybe i just lie flat it is somewhere maybe put some books on top of it just to kind of you know make sure it's gonna be flat so this is the only downside I would say I found in this uh, I fix it um, portable uh, anti-static mat that it's all folded and the fold lines are really hard to get rid of so this is because how they ship it they ship it folded multiple times so but so far I like it and it's not that expensive so if you guys are interested in something like that you can find the link below where I purchased it I think it was on sale at the time uh, and I, I would say I recommend it because it's portable. I can move it from one bench to another. If I want to shoot a video somewhere else, I can just move it with me or do some job, uh, you know, not home. I can just take it with me. Yeah, and it's totally, 
it's totally it's quite portable i would say uh, i think that's gonna be enough uh, talking about this um, mod i think it's a good purchase i'm pretty happy with it and guys if you like if you want to see more videos like that please uh, like mm, gonna help the channel please subscribe i'll be happy to hear from you if you have any comments and suggestions uh yeah and see you next time ciao